I think it's pretty clear now that Elon Musk didn't fully grasp just how hard full self-driving would be when Tesla began attempting to make vehicles that could truly drive anywhere without a driver. Well, Musk has shed light on Tesla's only path and what he perceives as the world's only path to full self-driving. Interestingly, one of my favorite journalists, Steve Hanley from Clean Technica, claims that he thinks Tesla should just drop full self-driving and simply focus on electric cars. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you here. Thanks for subscribing. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. And if you haven't already, it's about time you invested in either electric cars, batteries, or renewable energy, because all of that is the future. And right now, by the way, growth stocks are very depressed this year. Big opportunities around. If you've got cash, good time to invest. If you want to do that, you can use the Stake app, which is what I use for everything, all my trading. And when you make your account, just use the promotion or the code in the description below. That will give you a free stock. Don't know which one it will give you. It's like a random thing. You push the button and you, you get lucky. Who knows? Anyway, Elon Musk has shed some light on what he sees as the only path to success for actual real world full self-driving. Now let's just clarify this for a moment. Technically there are vehicles driving around on the roads right now without a driver in the United States. Technically you could call that level for full self-driving if you wanted to, but technically it isn't really because those vehicles are monitored 24 seven and they're only able to be driven on fully mapped roads. So those roads have to be mapped down to the last millimeter to ensure that those vehicles can stay on like a pre-routed segment. If they actually go out of that map segment, then the vehicles just simply can't operate. So yes, they do work fairly well, most, almost all the time they work really well actually, on their pre-mapped segment. Obviously it's impossible to map the whole world down to the last millimeter. So this isn't the solution to full self-driving globally. It's a solution to having full self-driving in some cities, potentially and on some routes. Not all that different to kind of a tram though, where a tram just kind of runs up and down the same kind of tram line. These vehicles can't really go off their tram lines to some degree, you could say as an analogy, maybe that's a poor analogy, but I think you get my point. Clearly Tesla don't want to do that. Clearly Tesla don't want to have mapping, hate full HD mapping and have to rely on that because the other thing is remember, when those maps change, so when there's some changes to those roads, then that those roads have to be mapped again. So you have to continually map, 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 endlessly at infinity until, you know, you, or otherwise, you just simply can't drive on the roads unless they've been mapped. And if that changes and you're not aware of it, something changes, the lights change, the intersection changes, then the car just wouldn't be able to operate. So I agree with Elon that the solution to full self-driving is not what Waymo or GM Cruise or any other company is doing right now outside of maybe Xpeng, Tesla, and some other potential Chinese car companies. And I know there's others out there as well that are looking at it as at working out how their vehicles can work without having to use mapping. So it's not just Tesla doing that, but Tesla are the only company I'm aware of globally that believe the only solution to full self-driving is by purely using cameras and nothing else. Elon recently posted on Twitter and he responded to the whole Mars blog who has been speaking out against some of the smear campaigns put out by some of Tesla's competitors. Now, I've made other videos on this before. If you're a competitor and your product is great, you don't need to smear the competition if your product is as good as you say it is, then I can guarantee you, Legacy Auto will say, please, we'll take it, we'll pay you. How many billion do you want? So I think it's evidence that if you're needing to smear another company, your product is probably not as good as you think. Anyhow, this is what he said. Within three years, they'll switch over. That's what the whole Mars catalog tweeted and Elon responded saying, they have no idea how hard full self-driving is. The only path to success, in my opinion, is hardcore, real-world, 
AI software with dedicated neural network inference, acceleration, ASICs in car, multi-billion dollar neural network training supercluster, and 10 plus billion miles of vehicle data. Good luck. He could be right. Uh, the, the, the problem with this is that there is nobody on YouTube, no one, period, and I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on this, no one. There's no one on Twitter. There's no one on the internet who knows more about this issue right now than uh, probably about 10 experts in the world. And those experts, they're not really saying a whole lot. So the truth is, anyone who tries to tell you, tries to make a YouTube channel and says, oh, no, 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 Elon's wrong because X, Y, Z, I know better. Who is that person? Who are they? What have they done? If they were as great as you think, they probably wouldn't be working on a YouTube channel. They'd probably be getting paid $10 million a year in order to make full self-driving work. So the reality is here, the people who are criticizing Tesla's approach, I think most of them have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. I actually think I don't know what I'm talking about. And I've read hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of articles about this issue. And it's the key reason why I don't make YouTube videos about full self-driving, because truthfully, neither you nor me nor anyone on YouTube really understands how difficult it is and what is needed to make it work. Because the reality is no one has made it work yet. No one. No one has made it work yet. Full self-driving. Fully autonomous driving. Green Hill Software CEO Dan O'Dowd, one competitor of Tesla, has been very vocal in his criticism of Elon Musk. Tesla's full self-driving software and Tesla's achievements in artificial intelligence. And it's this competitor that Holmar's blog was referring to in his tweet. Now, John Asida says on Clean Technica that you may have seen a recent full page ad in the New York Times from Green Hill Software criticizing Tesla's full self-driving. The software CEO tweeted earlier this year that he placed a full page ad in the New York Times in hopes of banning Tesla's full self-driving vehicles from the roads. What the software CEO neglected to mention was that in 2021, his company announced a partnership with Apex AI. In other words, they're a direct competitor to Tesla. Now, Dave Lee has responded to Dan O'Dowd's criticism of Tesla saying, I think it's only fair and honest for you to, to disclose which Tesla competitors your company, Green Hill Software, has taken money from or works with. The ad in the New York Times called Tesla's full self-driving software the worst software ever sold by a Fortune 500 company, which while the hyperbole there is so preposterously ridiculous that it really discredits his entire idea completely. The ad focused on the Dawn project, which isn't Green Hill Software, but a separate project. In his initial post, Holmars noted that Green Hill Software announced that BMW's iX would use its tech, but in reality, it appears BMW has chosen not to use it. Now, Holmar's catalog has tweeted saying, suddenly it makes sense why Dan O'Dowd is getting so upset and angry and funding a smear campaign, doesn't it? They're losing customers left and right as OEMs realize they need to step up their game to compete with Tesla. The same broken tech won't get them where they're going. In other words, Green Hill Software, Dan O'Dowd's company, isn't as good as he thinks it is. So he's doing everything he can clasping, grasping at straws to prevent his company from going down the drain. Tesla enthusiast and blogger Gail Alpha wanted to know what Elon meant when he said just how they don't know how hard full self-driving is, and in particular what ASICs were. ASIC is an acronym for application-specific integrated circuits or computer chips that are designed to do only one thing. Many in the Tesla community had excellent answers regarding this and the thread opened up further conversation about Tesla's artificial intelligence. Essentially what Elon was saying, the only path that he can see to success is hardcore real world artificial intelligence software that is dedicated neural network inference acceleration ASIC chips in the car along with a multi-billion dollar neural network training supercluster and over 10 billion miles of vehicle data. Tesla has all of these. Its competitors do not. We will see who is right over the coming decade. Now, apparently AI or artificial inference accelerators are specialized hardware designed to accelerate basic machine learning computations while improving performance, reducing latency, and cutting the cost of deploying machine learning based applications. Reducing latency, by the way, is an extremely important part of this entire calculation. Remember, 
in the real world, you need to react really quickly, right? You see someone driving along and you think, oh, they're going to be about to hit me and you need to be able to react really quickly. So that's where latency comes into effect. But the reality is you have to feed that data back and then forwards and backwards and forwards. And if you can't feed that data backwards and forwards quickly, your latency times increase. So that's a very important part of the solution. So in some of the videos that I've seen where Elon has actually discussed this in more detail, it's fascinating to see just how complex these issues are. And I believe that Elon Musk actually, even though he's received a lot of criticism for his, well, truly false promises, he has falsely promised, I don't think intentionally, but he has falsely promised that full self-driving would come on numerous occasions because he thought it would work. And I believe in that process, he's had to learn the hard way just exactly what is needed and just how hard it is to make this whole system work. So I think that Tesla's development of their neural nets or their ability to make this work is continuing at a pretty rapid pace. Should they actually just forget about it, as Steve Hanley from Clean Technica says? Absolutely not. Full self-driving will change the world in so many positive ways. It is something that will solve, save millions and millions of lives. Remember, what is the cause of the most deaths on the planet that we can actually just easily prevent? Well, driving accidents. When we have full self-driving, deaths will decrease by the millions. So I believe this software is extremely important. In addition to that, they're actually not just using the software they're developing and building just for cars. It's also going to be used for their robotics division to make their robot. So Tesla's sort of doing two things at once. I think that makes a lot of sense. Will they solve it this year? Well, no, definitely not in my view. But take that with a grain of salt because what do I know? Will they solve it next year? They could, maybe, possibly. I do think that potentially, I do think that their current cars with their current cameras in them may not be capable of providing the solution. So if you already have a car with full self-driving, it may be possible at some point that Tesla will have to refund that money. Don't get all excited, get emotional. You don't have to sue them. I'm going to imagine that at some point in time, you'll just be offered your money back. I do think Tesla will solve it. I'm just not sure it can be solved using the current hardware in their current cars. It may need further advancements, better cameras, better sensors, even maybe potentially a better full self-driving chip. I'm not sure, but I am confident that Tesla will achieve it. Remember, which is the only car company that has succeeded over the last 50 years from startup? It is Tesla. Who pushed the entire industry to electrifying? Tesla. Who has the highest gross margins in the industry? Tesla. Who is one of the only car companies that actually even makes money out of mass selling electric cars? Tesla. Tesla do a lot of things that no one has ever done before. So don't put it past them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again.